15, 20 years ago, I did some work on inflation and the force saving doctrine. And I was impressed when I read that particular quote that you had there, because it contains, I think, the correct and the incorrect uh, implications of that doctrine. And then I made a look at the rest of your work to see whether you rested upon the correct or the incorrect doctrine. And fortunately, you rested on the correct doctrine, I think. <laughs> uh, but I want to explore it again. Uh, I won't press you on it, but let me just say that the, there are two doctrines in there. One is that when you increase the stock of money, as so elegantly said by uh, uh, Ricardo, that the, uh, uh, new, the largest stock of money chases the same amount of goods, uh -huh. and someone has to go with less. And, he, and the, the quote does correctly say, uh, those who have money lose value of their money. Then it goes on to make the next statement, which it turns out, I will assert here, is incorrect. And that is that business firms make large unusual profits because of this. And there is the seed of the, uh, instead of simply saying that the wealth transfer from money holders to uh, those who first got the money to spend, it goes on to say, there's a transfer of wealth from wage earners mm -hmm. to, uh, well, it doesn't say wage earners, but he says there is a gain to the uh, businessman. That is, those who are selling uh, with a price lag. Mm -hmm. And that's an error. It's just the first thing that counts. So in reading your first chapter through, I was paying a particular attention to see which of these two you rested your argument on. And fortunately, whether you know it or not, it was not on the second one. <laughs> it was on the well, first you know, one. I don't suppose Whereas I saw it as clearly well, as Hamilton I makes see the, the thing now. I see but I think it began all with my becoming aware that all assumption that prices are determined by what happened before are wrong. Mm -hmm. That prices, the function of prices, to tell people what they ought to do in yeah. future. Yes. That's the modern. That's the modern rational expectations. Yeah. It's you can see it in there. As I read it through last but week. If, if, yeah. Forgive me. No, 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 so of course, the other way around. Mm -hmm. It's by discovering the function of prices as guiding what people ought to do that I finally began to put it in this form. Yes. yes. But so many things. I mean, the whole trade cycle theory rested on the idea that prices determines the direction of production. Mm -hmm. You had at the same time the whole discussion of anticipations. Mm -hmm. you, I found out that the whole Mises argument about calculation re ultimately rested on the same idea. And that drove me to the 37 article, mm -hmm. which then became the systematic basis of.